In this experiment, we will incorporate the concept angle of repose. This is the steepest angle of descent relative to a horizontal plane in which the material is poured. This will show the flow properties of a material. A cohesive material will form an irregular heap, and a non-cohesive material will form a regular conical heap. This experiment uses an adaptation of the angle of repose tester, which follows the USB method described in the general chapter 1174. In this experiment, we will need one half cup of granules, one half cup of starch, two circular pack worms with a diameter of 8.5, two funnels, two iron stands, and two rulers. For the setup, the funnels are clipped onto the iron stands, and then the circular platforms are placed below it. Let us begin. The first step is to measure the height of the funnel to the circular platform. For this funnel, we have the measurement of 8 centimeters. And in measuring these two funnels, we have to make sure that they have the same height. And for this funnel too, we have 8 centimeters. The second step is to pour the granules and the powder into the funnel. Before that, we need to set a timer because we need to time the powder and the granules until it forms a pyramid. For the third step, we will measure the height of the two pyramids. The granules pyramid is measured 3.5. For the starch pyramid, it is measured 5. Given all the data we have in our experiment, we will use this to solve for the angle of repose to determine the flow of the granules and the powder. We will use the angle of repose formula, which is the inverse tangent of 2 times the height of the pyramid divided by the diameter of the circular platform. The granules have formed an angle of 39.47 degrees, while the powder have formed an angle of 49.64 degrees. With the angles acquired, we can determine the expected flow. In this experiment, we observe that the granules form the pyramid faster for about 2 minutes, but the height of the pyramid is shorter, about 3.5 centimeters. While the powder formed the pyramid much longer for about 7 minutes, but the height formed, which was 5 cm, is taller than the height of the granules pyramid. Another observation that we had is that it was hard for the powder to flow out of the funnel. Lastly, based on our calculations, the flow of the granules are considered fair and does not need any aid, while the powder has poor flow and needs to be agitated. So...